Mekanos in the Aegean Sea, one of the most famous islands in the Cyclades. At the airport, a private jet lands on the tarmac. Jonas is Greek. He runs a luxury concierge. He is waiting for wealthy customers who are coming for a week's vacation. clients of the island. They are the usual clients of the island. They come every year. They love the island. So they are some of the most important people we have in Mykonos. In a gray jacket is Dan and in a pink polo shirt Dean. They are twins and gay. These fashion stars are coming to Mykonos for vacations and business. They dress Britney Spears, Rihanna or Madonna. Their brand is present in 15 countries. In Mykonos, it is displayed in large numbers, right at the entrance to the airport. It's the new campaign for their underwear. There you go. So this is them. It's their brand. It's their brand. They're, They're everywhere. everywhere. In a few days, the creators of the Italian brand are going to open a brand new store in the most exclusive district of Mykonos. In the meantime, they want to enjoy their stay. The best thing about Mykonos is you can do what you want to do. You know, if you want to do sports and kite surfing and stuff, it's available. If you want to like sleep all day and party all night, it's available. There's tons of great bars, there's tons of great clubs, there's tons of great DJs. There's, there's tons, tons of great of, beaches, yeah. the water's amazing, it's always, great. always fun. Dean and Dan tasked their luxury concierge with finding them, an exceptional villa for their holidays. They paid no less than 30,000 euros for a week's rent, and they can't wait to discover the rare pearl. Apparently, it's a sumptuous house, with a pool and breathtaking views of the Aegean Sea. The twins and their friends finally arrived, but when it came time to take possession of the premises, there was a problem. Anna, prepare a little something to keep them waiting. The house is scattered. The previous renter is not just anyone. It's a famous footballer who came to Mykonos after a failed World Cup for consolation with friends. They missed their plane this morning. Cleaning has just begun. We took all their stuff out of the other house, but we'll come, call them to come back uh, for lunch. If you want. They're, they're preparing their rooms downstairs so each one can go. But we do a little welcome thing before. For the luxury concierge, it's a disaster. The traces of the wild evening of the previous day are everywhere. Outside, wine was spilled on the sofas. Broken glass is littering the ground. The deck chairs are destroyed and the chairs on the terrace float on the surface of the pool. Uh, this is, this is uh, unacceptable. We cannot film like the house when it's like this. It's totally a mess. I think if the house is not ready because the people just left the house, so the house is a bit... Why? Why? Because people didn't wake up. So his house is not perfectly clean. I understand. Even though Jonas's services cost them a fortune, Dean and Dan take the news with a smile. In Mykonos, the excesses of the stars are always forgiven. A three-hour flight from Paris, Greece, in the middle of the Aegean Sea. Mykonos, paradisiacal island in the Cyclades, is one of the trendiest vacation destinations. Along this granite pebble, 24 beaches known for their electric atmosphere. Billionaires' yachts and wild parties that aim to compete with Ibiza. A hop of the gay community for over 40 years, the face of the island has changed. Today, partygoers from around the world and jet setters are coming here to have a crazy vacation. For four months, two million tourists share this little piece of paradise. In the small streets with typical charm, you can meet stars like Monica Bellucci, Steven Spielberg, Hugh Jackman or Shakira again. But also families who have come to enjoy the joys of high-end tourism, a summer in Mykonos, the new bling vacation destination. On the heights of Mykonos, in their sumptuous villa, 
Dean and Dan are waiting patiently to take over their neighborhood. Jonas, the luxury concierge, is in his little shoes. He makes his distinguished guests wait with a few small ovens prepared by the villa chef. How long are they here? Uh, they were here the past week and they're living today. And he's gonna fly in the afternoon at six o'clock. Cristiano was sleeping here. They were, they're moving there. They're leaving today. So anyway, it's a little bit of an overlap because we're actually earlier than they, and they had a later night. You don't mind? Oh no, no, no. We're friends anyway. So he it was pretty. We're gonna probably hopefully hook up with him for lunch. So. I would like you, please, to unpack the the suitcase. In the villa, the staff gets down to work. Trendy-looking cleaners keep the house tidy. Here, we only have VIP customers, and we don't have the right to make mistakes. Everything has to be perfect. Bed shower, everything is meticulously clean. The suitcases of vacationers are even unpacked by the staff. Dean and Dan will find their clothes neatly stored in the closet, an ultra-luxurious service for demanding customers. If they call you 5 o'clock in the morning, you have to be at 5 o'clock in the morning. If they call you like 9 o'clock in the morning, you have to be at 9 o'clock in the morning. So there's no time frame that you have to work or not. There's no days off, so it's exactly, precisely 24-7, literally, I mean. After four hours of cleaning, the house is neat. Dean and Dan's vacation can begin. I love this house. I feel at home already. It's kind of second, second home. Yeah. It's good. It is cozy. And the staff is great. Okay. He's a great chef. He's great it's good muffins. <laughs> it's a great thing to have satisfied customers, is it? Of course. You see the smile on their face. We're happy. They're happy. So that's that's the job, no? It's hard doing nothing. Uh, I presume. Fashion designers are lounging on the couch. The setback of their arrival has already been forgotten. A few kilometers from the hills and these luxury villas, in the streets of the old town, a man does not want to relax. It's Alexandro Simonas, the manager of Dean and Dan's store. In two days, it's the opening and everything has to be perfect. Here, even if we sell beach items, ties are required for employees. The new store is opened in the most exclusive street of Makonos, where high-end brands all have their shops. It's like Avenue Montaigne. And as in Paris, the price per square meter can reach 15,000 euros. In 30 years, Alexandros has seen the small fishing village transform. They were streets that they were not even paved like that. It was sand from the beach. The first use of that big building was the first pharmacy of the island. Then, then it was a convenience store. No, it was a pizza sold by meter. Today we must respond to buying fever wealthy vacationers and the international jet set. At Dean and Dan's Italian fashion store, everything is done to make customers feel unique. So this is a limited line that the designers did for Mykonos. It's available only in this boutique and has been very, very successful. Price of this exclusive plastic beach bag, 160 euros, a trifle for the customers targeted by this store. Expect an average of 300 euros for jeans and for that little cocktail dress. A price like this is expensive? It's about 2,500. Mykonos lately has become a shopping destination. Having a boutique in Mykonos is like having a boutique in seven countries at the same time because everyone passes by. After Paris, Moscow, Miami, New York, the fashion twins bet on the jet set meeting in the Cyclades. For the opening, the creative brothers saw the big picture. The party should be glamorous. You have to attract a fashionable and wealthy clientele. Mekanos, a UFO in a Greece in crisis, where a quarter of the population lives below the poverty line. At an altitude of 600 meters above the Aegean Sea in the private helicopter of a Swiss billionaire. Mark Chatila is the heir of a Lebanese family who made a fortune in jewelry. He comes to the island to relax with his nine-year-old son Kevin, but Mark is a hyperactive businessman. 
If he chose Mekinos, it's also for business. He has every intention of taking advantage of the crisis in Greece to invest in real estate. For his stay, the businessman opted for this superb villa. Rental cost for eight days, 46,000 euros. I had thought of landing the helicopter here. It's magnificent. That is what is beautiful in Greece, especially in Mykonos. Make no mistake, it's white, it's blue. I haven't been here for three years already, and I missed it. I think now, coming here, I feel good. The house extends over 700 square meters and has a superb pool visible from the living room in the basement. Look, you see. It's as if you were in an aquarium. When you swim, I sit and look at you. If you want, we want to put a fish. We're going to catch a fish tomorrow. We're going to put a fish in. It's really beautiful. I've never been to a place like that. I went to St. Tropez, but never in a place like that. It's changing from St. Tropez. Yes, that changes. It's very beautiful. Mark has every intention to enjoy the sun and the pool with his son, but he doesn't lose sight of the other reasons for his being on the island. I have a lot of projects in the pipeline. I have been working on it for more than six or seven months. I always mix relaxation and business. I am trying to go to a place, and my hobby is business. So Mark came with his closest collaborators. This is Peter. He's my number two. He is my personal architect. His project, buy an island in the Cyclades in order to build extremely luxurious villas there. His ambition is to make it a small Mekonos. I'll show you around the island, in all these houses, that's the spirit we want. What I like about this house is the Greek charm with the new wood. What I like are the wide spaces with this breathtaking view. We're going down with the elevator. What's important, Serge, is that we don't do it often. Okay. I want elevators in projects with air conditioning. Okay. We are still in a very hot place. After this brief visit to the house to inspire its architect, it's time to relax and celebrate. The Golden Boy booked a table at the most exclusive restaurant on the island, on the private and very exclusive beach of Saru. Here we have lunch with our feet in the water. Billionaires' yachts have anchored in the bay. In the car park, Mark Chatila is welcomed by Costantis. Hello, my friend. The owner of the establishment, where the jet setters from all over the world like to show off. The business of Costantis did not suffer from the Greek crisis. On the contrary, over the last three years, it has been growing. That's new. What? Have you changed that? Yes, we opened it last August. We also have a new store, but look inside. Very nice. How are you? Good morning, how are you? Whatever you want. Thank you. They have just expanded. That is to say that there is no crisis in Mykonos because it's getting bigger. When I go to other seaside resorts, I see a lot of people crying with the crisis here, but here it's getting bigger. So there is quality and service. And quality service starts with very fresh produce. Here, you choose your fish directly on the beach. Now they're groupers. How do you cook it? Grilled or boiled. But grilled is really good. There you go. The fisherman comes. I choose the fish. We're going to make some And we're going to grill the other side of this fish. It has just come out of the water. Cooler than that. It's not Perlux, possible. Mark Chatila and his friends will be seated at the best table, the most prominent. A billionaire who spends a lot of money is a very good advertisement. My friend here gave it away. It's beautiful. As a welcome gift, oysters prepared by the chef. Where are the glasses? How many bottles did he order? Twelve, but much, much more is going to come. Here the price of some bottles rivals that of a house. It can climb up to 120,000 euros for this one. 
20 times the size of a magnum. It contains 30 liters of champagne. It's called a Melchize deck. My friend, offer me your house. I'll give you this now. Thanks. I'm offering a drink to the whole restaurant in honor of my friend who invited me here tonight. Are you always this generous? Does money not count? No, always. Does money not count? Money matters. Money is important. But sometimes you also have to know how to be generous. Life has been kind to me, so I need to do it too. It's important. Surprise, Mark offered champagne to all the customers in the restaurant. If he's that generous with Constantis, it is also because the owner of the place is very influential on the island. He's the cousin of the mayor of Nakonos, a strategic ally for Mark Chadola's projects. Do you know who gave you this drink? It is 3 p.m. and the atmosphere is rising in the restaurant. The champagne is flowing and it's not over yet. More crates are still arriving, but their contents will not be drunk. It is dumped on restaurant customers. When it's time to party, we party and when we work, we work too. For me, everything is 100%. It is 7 p.m. Mark Shatila and his team are about to leave. One of his assistants is going to pay the bill. In his hand, a titanium credit card designed for the richest people on the planet. You have to spend at 190,000 euros per year to own one. How much is the bill? 96,000 euros. 96,000 euros for four hours of celebration. Mark Shatila, flamboyant businessman, has had a few run-ins with the French courts for tax fraud in the early 2000s. The man likes excess. In Mikonos, he is a fish in the water. It was in the 1950s that the jet set discovered the charms of the island with Aristotle Amasis, one of the richest Greek shipowners. Lover of Maria Callas and husband of Jackie Kennedy, he brought his rich friends from the United States and organized grand celebrations in their honor. Mykonos became the symbol of luxury, celebration, and freedom. In the early 1970s, the first gay bar in Europe opened on the island, Piero's. Its owner, an Italian-American painter, Piero Aversa. It made Mykonos the unmissable event of the gay community for 40 years. And even though the island has opened up to other customers, it remains a preferred destination for gays from all over the world. In the streets of Cora, hat screwed over your head, Olivier shows his friend Paul around the village. Olivier is French, he has been coming to Mykonos for eight years, and he still enjoys shopping there as much as ever. Uh, I'm looking for the, the price of the shoes, the, the blue sandal in the, over there. You have the black and the blue? Yes. If you could tell me the price. Uh, 68. 68, okay, perfect, great. In okay. Mykonos, Olivier is not just a tourist, he is also you, a transformist. A, maybe a 40? Can I try it? Every year, he yes, comes 40. to give performances yes. in the skin of Gizel. Gizel, my alter ego. It's my character, and she's the one who goes out at night and does shows in Mykonos. I'm going to sit. No, it's too small. Too bad, it's too small. Well, if I stop only, thank you very much. Unfortunately, you can't always find a shoe that fits your foot. If Olivier has been leaving Toulouse for five years to perform during the whole summer in Mykonos, it is with the hope of perpetuating the gay spirit of the island. Makeup, fishnet stockings, stilettos, and blonde wig. It takes Olivier less than an hour to change into a woman and become Gizal. Mekanos for me is work without work. It is the pleasure of being in the sun, of being in a paradisiacal destination. If you want to be quiet, we can go to the other end of the island. You can see people out at night. 
It's really, really this freedom and the impression of not being here to work. In France, Olivier resumed his communication studies after spending several years in Quebec as a seller in a clothing store. During his vacation, he does shows to make some cash and his first show of the evening took place in the gay bar, the oldest and most famous on the island. How are you? You look amazing as usual. You look stunning. Jesus Christ. I'm so jealous, damn it. Look at you. Here, Giselle is a real star. Customers, staff, everyone knows her. Paris is my Greek husband. He is my first Greek husband. He is very cute, a Greek in all his splendor. You're amazing, darling. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. I'm horny. And my second husband, Stelios. I think he's the cutest here. The strength of this club lies in the diversity of its clientele, which is not limited to homosexuals. Every day around the pool, hundreds of vacationers are enjoying the Transformists show that follow one another on stage. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to Jackie O. Welcome! In a yellow swimsuit, a willing victim, taken at random from the audience, will participate in the show. Is that a real woman is not happy if she doesn't have high heels? Oh, you look so fucking, fucking sexy now, baby. So, let's go with the music. Let's start a party. Have a lot of fun. Meet Gizzle and Britney Spears. With its first appearance, she hopes to raise the mood in her turn. This type of service earns him 300 euros daily, a sum that Gizzle often spends the same evening during her night trips. I don't see you clapping, what is that? Oh Jesus Christ, come on! There's the relationship side. I go for a walk and do my beauty and everything. But it's true that the place where I like to be the most is on stage. Second and last scene, Dissol swapped black for red. The public seems to like it. It went well, the audience is great. It is slightly hot. Today the gay community is no longer the majority in Makanos. Gradually the island was open to all audiences. Nevertheless, there is one thing in common all tourists passing here, the party. The next morning, a few kilometers from the center of Mekanos, Manon, Capucine, and their friends have come to pick up the rest of their group arriving at the airport. These young students from Lyon are between 17 and 19 years old. They are here for a week. Their aim is to enjoy the most with a minimum budget. We're hot. We're boiling hot. We've been waiting for this for a year. There are regulars on the team. The friends have been saving for a year to give yourself a dream vacation in Makonos. But before going to enjoy the pleasures of the island, they need to find a way to get around. First disappointment for the young Lyonnais, rental rates are 4 euros more expensive than they expected. Are you only two? No, there is Boulogne too. A few years ago, there were not many young people in Makonos. The manager of this rental agency notes the change in attendance on the island. Makonos is not the same. 30, 40 years ago, it was uh, only for some kind of people. The rich one, the famous, now Mykonos is for everybody. You can find uh, whatever you need, from cheap to most expensive. We're going to confront Mykonos. It's behind the wheel of their car and without a helmet. Let the young people of Leon take to the road, off to their vacation home. Nico, come on, I'm still downstairs. Wait, I'll open downstairs and I'll be there. The little band is lucky. They won't spend a cent for this villa loaned to them by a friend. A bargain when you know that Mykonos is one of the 10 most expensive cities in the world to live, even ahead of New York. 
I didn't know I was in Miami. Despite the free rental, money will be the lifeblood of the war for Manon and her friends. We need to ask you for money for yesterday's shopping. It's starting to talk about money already. It's the crisis. How much was it? Minus 80, 90 euros. 80 euros worth of groceries. But that's 500 euros worth yes, of groceries. Yes, we did that last week. We're out of money now. 500 euros worth of groceries is it's still expensive. a lot. I didn't plan it like that. I was not ready. My budget is 500 euros, but for no more than four days. I have a feeling that some people are going to go broke this week. It's going to be back to Lyon like that. It's going to be pasta all year round. But if you want to come here too, it's everything that is dear, it's Mekonos, it's the big clubs with the pools and everything, then I don't really see the point in going to the small free bars. When you come to Mekonos, you have to visit crazy places. Hello Mekonos. 7 p.m. is the perfect time to get down to business. Let's go to the famous nights of Ile de la Fête. First stop at Anna's Bar and Restaurant, a French woman who has lived here for more than 25 years. It is 9 p.m. Her establishment is deserted, but that is not surprising. In Greece, we eat dinner and we go out very late. A little more light for tonight. It's quite expensive. I think it's a bit expensive for young people. We have a budget of 30 euros per person per night. 30 euros per person. Admission alone. If you come back after 3 a.m., I'm going 50. before 3 a.m. then. There are certain rates. 50 euros per night. The bill will be higher than expected for young Leon dwellers. Sex on the beach, especially in Makonos. It is 10 p.m. Manon and her friends are going to Paradise Beach, the essential place to stay at night in Makonos. Here, except for a few clubs in the city center, the parties take place on the beaches, feet in the water. Every evening, thousands of them dance in the numerous clubs on the island. Alcohol flows like crazy. The best DJs on the planet are taking over the turntables. Mekonos is clearly positioned as a direct competitor to Ibiza. Paradise Beach is the most popular place of, of all over the world because, you know, they are going to the beach, swimming, they are free, they don't, we don't have the dress code here, all the people feeling free, all the people who like to party, they, they, they can come here. They are not uh, especially for ages smaller or younger or older, for all the people. It's every day like this? Every day is crazy, yeah, yeah. It's fire. We are super happy. Frankly, I expected to party, and now I'm served. No regrets, even if all their money is squandered here. Few French people know it, but in Greece, another island specializes in low-cost partying. On the island of Corfu, a spot has become in a few years a paradise for young party goers with a small budget. Off to Cavos, 700 kilometers northwest of Mykonos. This small town lives only four months of the year, between June and September. At that time, more than 100,000 young Britons hit the streets to party day and night. Here, entering the clubs is free and in bars, the price of drinks is unbeatable. It is 10 a.m., Nicole, Melissa, and their friends arrive in Cavos. They are between 18 and 20 years old and come from Chester, in the north of England. They're here for four crazy days. So what's the must to bring on holiday in the Uh Bikinis, sun cream, sun cream, cannon oil, um, money, lots of money. <laughs> How much? Uh, I've brought 410 out with me. For four days? Yeah, for four days. Young English women want to party without limits, and they have planned everything to make their evening a success. <laughs> really, like, revealing tops. So, like, they've literally got, like, 
not much yeah, to them at too. all. <laughs> but I said I brought you some little presents. <laughs> and like because it's been the World, World Cup, Cup, some football ones there for you as well. Hold them up. 10, 11. She's got to get one. Bad girl. <laughs> for this hotel room, the four English women paid 20 euros per day or 5 euros per person. In Cavos, everything is done to attract young customers with a limited budget. Never have I ever sucked a black willy. And if you have, you've got to drink two fingers. Ah, right, right. And your aim is to get everybody else to drink. So it's already been sick. Because it's minging. <laughs> After a hearty aperitif, the girls are ready to go out, heading to the famous strip. The strip is the main thoroughfare in Cavos, the core area of debauchery. Over a hundred bars, restaurants and nightclubs are concentrated over a kilometer. A glass of vodka costs 2 euros, shots 1 euro and 50 cents, three times cheaper than in England. We're on, we're on the lookout. Where is that? <laughs> Earls, are you coming? I like his tattoos. Pulls <laughs> <Pulled> again. <laughs> It's 8 p.m. Nicole and her girlfriends finally out for the watermelon bar. Hello. How are you doing? Good. Do you do all Here to stand out, we offer an explosive like cocktail, watermelon. <laughs> Take the shirt off. This cocktail of eight strong alcohols is dosed according to the number of drinkers, then mixed with four liters of crushed fruit. The alcohol concentration is equivalent to more than 10 Gorgeous. shots of vodka. If I walk out of here later, I'll be well happy. The start of evening is off to a strong start for English tourists. It'll be a long night. In Cavos, to sell conveniently, bar owners have put in place a formidable and effective system. Every summer, they recruit English vacationers to work as lurers. They are called the workers. Their role is to bring as many customers as possible. Their salary enables them to extend their vacation all summer long. This is unique to Cavos. Costas is the owner of the Beetle, a small bar at the entrance to the strip. There is less traffic on this part of the strip. So to fill the tank, the boss uses four lures. Are we going to work well tonight? Costas is Greek. Like him, 80% of the owners of the strip are locals. It's more people on the street, it's little people there. I need more. I need this bar busy. Four people. You just have to promote your business in every way you can. To attract customers, lurers are ready for anything. Their preferred approach, offering the first glasses to get young people to come to their bar. Let's go. I train them. I tell them what to say, how to say, how to go to the people, to approach them. It's no, it's no hard. It's easy. If, if, if you like your job, it's easy. In reality, the job of a lure is not that easy. There are very many vacationers who ignore them, unless there is an exceptional offer. Costas has understood this and does not hesitate to cut prices. Boys, boys, everything okay? Nice one. The best deals in town here are only for you, yeah? The deals that they can have a drink and a shot in there, and that's it. It depends how many they are, we give them in one piece bowl something to give them so they come in the bar and have a drink and they like it. Like many other bar owners, Costa takes responsibility without taboos. To keep his business running, young people should consume as much alcohol as possible. 4 a.m., the time to close and do the accounting. You want to count my money? This evening, Costas has made a 500 euros receipt. 
Each drummer will be paid 20 euros for the evening, and the bartenders 30 euros. His bar, The Beetle, has a turnover of over 40,000 euros per year. That's for you. You give him 5 euros, okay? See you tomorrow at 9. Hi. In a crisis rocked Greece, the low cost alcohol business is a very profitable market for night professionals. While Kavos is famous for its parties day and night, this small town 45 minutes south of Corfu is not any less a very pleasant, relaxing destination. It's 1 p.m. Nicole, Melissa, and their friends have woken up a while ago. Today is a rest and relaxation day on the beach for the four English girls, but before that, a short detour for breakfast. English tourists have been in Cavos for three days. Here, the rhythm is very special. We go to bed in the early morning, we gain strength at the beach during the day, and we go back to doing excesses as soon as the sun sets. <laughs> After a few hours perfecting their tan, the four English women have decided to have a little fun. This summer in Cavos, the main activity is these Todd boys by boats launched at full speed. Why? Four. We go on the, is it the crazy UFO? Yeah. The price of the adrenaline rush, 20 euros for 10 minutes or five euros per person. In Cavos, everything is designed to have fun without going broke. Tomorrow, Melissa and her girlfriends are going back to England, having made the most of strong sensations. They have already planned to come back here next summer. Back to Mykonos, off the island on a yacht, Mark Chatila's staff are busy. The billionaire is going to spend the day at sea. Peter, his right-hand man, controls every detail. Lunch should be ready, the boat flawless before the arrival of his boss. We are in the process of organizing catering. We are on the boat to have a great day. The aim is to welcome a few friends and have a good time. But finding a boat of this size at the last minute has not been an easy task, even with lots of money. Mark asked us last night. He absolutely wanted a really nice boat for this morning. We did everything we could. We found this superb 45-meter boat. We're a bit in the middle of the stars. Like, for example, there, you have Roman Abramovich's boat. We always try to do the best we can. It is hoped that his guests are satisfied. Roman Abramovich is the owner of Chelsea Football Club, one of the biggest fortunes on the planet. Mark Chatila arrives with his son and his staff, his friends will follow. In total, there will be 17 of them on the rented ship, 11,500 euros for the day. Is it good for meat? The meat is good. Kids, do you want to eat meat? Why yes? Come on, come to the table. There is pasta. Heat it up for Kevin. With some pasta. I love everything related to fish, pitas, and Greek salads, hummus. I am Lebanese. It comes from my origins. It is magnificent. And what better could you ask for when you're on vacation with friends? The billionaire was thinking of spending a relaxing day at sea with his guests. On the program after the meal, a jacuzzi with his son Kevin, then a jet ski.
He loves everything that goes quickly, so he takes full advantage of it. He never stops. Never. But business fever will catch up with him. On the beach, while his friends are soaking up the sun, the businessman is elsewhere, hooked on the phone. Business is calling for him. The representative of the owners of the island he is up for just gave him an appointment on site. Mark Shatila leaves his friends behind. Air, we ready to take off. He goes there by helicopter. A little wind, but no problem. Anyway, we're gonna dance stuff. So. <laughs> yeah. The island is a 40-minute flight northwest of Mikonos. At his side is Costantis, the owner of the beach restaurant. It was he who informed Mark Chatelade of the existence of an island for sale. The investor has only seen it on plans. He is impatient. Here we are. We are there on the famous island. If I manage to finalize the transaction, it's going to be just pure happiness because there is a lot to do. And when I see that the plane is right in front of you and we still have a marina on the right, there is a lot to do. First, the idea is to make a magnificent marina to be able to accommodate magnificent boats a bit like on the port of St. Tropez. I wanted to make hotels that were Greek style, but very luxurious. And on the other side, also make villas, housing for a very wealthy clientele. Mark Chatila wants to surpass Mykonos, more luxurious and only 40 kilometers from Athens airport. It's the first time I've seen it for real. It's like the first man who went to the moon, who touched the moon. It's going to be a very big challenge. The island is eight square kilometers in size, three of which are constructible. On the ground, he is awaited by Costas Costantinos, the representative of the owners. Hello, how are you? Good morning. To start the purchase, the transaction, you take a rock, it will bring happiness. Divided into 700 plots, the island is owned by several individuals. They built 30 kilometers of road, had electricity installed, and have obtained all necessary building permits before going bankrupt. This may be the opportunity for Mark Shatila to make a good deal. The island is priced at 45 million euros. We are here now. This here says that it's the hotel area. Here's supermarket, uh, mini shops, a gym. They have already planned to do a, a business here, but they stopped it. The, the crisis came and they didn't have money, so everything stopped. So now they are trying to find somebody to buy. It's the ferry boat that crosses to Evia. That's two miles and it can stop here every day. You get electricity and it's here, and it's uh, planned out to the island to every plot. The seller bargains, but Mark remains impassive. This professional negotiator knows that nothing should reveal his intentions. I need to check and be sure that what he is telling me is not a joke. Maybe there are others who have come. Why didn't they buy? You have to be very careful. I am not alone. There are a lot of investors. Greece is, after all, a well-known place in the world. To carry out his project successfully, Mark will have to pay no less than 300 million euros. That is the price of the island and the investments to develop it. What is superb is that in every corner, there is a different view. We don't just have the sea, we have other islands, we have Athens on the other side. So you have to do really well in the projects. If you make a hotel, put it in a very specific place, very specific beaches, very specific resorts. But it's a huge challenge, and I intend to make a good offer and be able to buy this island. Come on, come on. Let's go. But the negotiation will surely take several months and will be away from our cameras. Mark Shatila hopes to get the price reduced. He will have to hit hard to match the splendors of Mykonos, the favorite destination for jet set tourists on the planet. On the hills of the island in their star villas, Dean and Dan, the fashion twins are having fun like kids.
Ready to go? I'm ready to go. Okay. Not yet, not yet, not yet. Ah, okay. Don't have my son. Are we quite ready? Yeah. Dini? I'm being thrown out. Gary, my gray one. Tonight is the opening day of their brand new store, but first, they want to go to one of the must-see places on the island. It is one of the most magical places in Makonos, right next to the city's port, a neighborhood of white houses with painted shutters, hanging on the sea, one of the best views on the island and one of the twins' favorite places. Here, no distinction between social classes, everyone meets in a good mood. Creators do not go unnoticed. They found fans among tourists. Say your name, honey. Hi, this is Sandra. She's here catching the last sunset of the day. Nina. She don't, I know who you are, but I'm going to tell her later. Don't. Who is he? He's wet. To watch the sunset, they found a prime spot. The show is dazzling. A romantic break before a much more hectic evening. Tonight is their moment of glory in Makonos. In a suit of light, the twins are expected by local stars, loyal customers, and fashion journalists from all over the world. The opening of their store was a success. But the jet-set turn of Meccano's that shines and sparkles is not to everyone's liking on the island. A little further away in the village, these angels will take some for their rank. Bob Sinkler, the famous DJ, is playing tomorrow at their club in Meccano's. They have to pre-sell tickets. But their sales method is very noisy. It obviously annoys street merchants. Another place because we're really disturbing the shop here. Okay, okay. okay. please do. I'm, I say this ten times a day. Okay, it's it's a big hassle. We pay for this what place. Nobody agrees in the neighborhood with what is okay, going okay, on. Okay. 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 okay, so please move because I call the police. Everyone is uh, yelling at us and screaming at us and whatever. They call the police. They are arresting. You get arrested already? Of course, many times, all of us, because of the flyers. It's just a paper, information, nothing more. Are you good? You good? But, uh, you have nice eyes. Ah, I know, right? <laughs> I put it on especially for promotion. <laughs> Very nice. These protests from locals, Thomas Ain, the club's boss, doesn't care. He's coming to read the meters because from now on, the admission rate to his nightclub will increase by the hour. Did he change the price or is it okay like it is? Change the price. Yeah? It's 25 now. We started yesterday with 20 euros and from tonight on at 9 o'clock we changed it to 25. Tomorrow Thomas will raise the tickets for Bob Sinclair to 50 euros. He is one of the kings of the night who have made a fortune in Meccano's. His latest concept, this special club hotel, built just 300 meters from nightclubs. Here we are right now, for me, at the most beautiful place of this hotel. This is like our pool area. I mean, look at this view. After long nights of working out on the dance floor, everything is planned for wealthy party goers to get back to their health. Hammocks, lounge music, and breakfast at all hours. Thomas keeps his clientele captive. He has everything planned so that his flock don't go out partying elsewhere than During in their club. During your stay at the hotel, you are a VIP member of the club. So you get VIP wristbands, you get like a shuttle from here to the club and at the night back to the hotel. You have like a separate entrance. 
you have access to the VIP area and you get 50% discount of the tables. So especially in the time frame where we have like Avicii, Afrocheck, Bob Sinclair, where normally it's very expensive to go to the club. Of course, this is a very big benefit for these people here at the hotel. His constraint, attracting the hottest DJs in a high pay is not always enough. For Bob Sinclair, he booked his most beautiful suite. We are right now in our suite. Here is like the bathroom. Everything in a very Greek style. This room costs 770 euros, including breakfast in Texas. And Bob Sinclair come for free? Of course. <laughs> no, no, this is in the contract. Uh, you have to provide a part of the DJ fee, the flight costs and the accommodation costs. You have to cover it as a promoter from a nightclub. I mean, if this is not an amazing terrace, I don't know what is a terrace. Today, big DJs are so much in demand that it is mandatory for nightclub managers to offer them an idyllic working environment. They are DJs, they request like the most expensive room on the island. Uh, they want to have special kind of champagne. They want to have, uh, like there was one, one DJ, he came with his own cooking team, his chef, uh, people who were treating him, giving him massages and, and stuff like this. The suite is ready. Bob Sinclair can come. <laughs> See you. It is midnight. The first customers arrive outside the nightclub. Barely two hours after opening its doors, the club is jam-packed. Thomas Hain is winning his bet. It was not until 3 a.m. that Bob Sinclair came in. For the famous French DJ, Mekanos is a stop not to be missed. He's even a bit nervous. There are places like that, a bit mythical for dance music. There are several clubs, there's competition. It's good, it increases the pressure, it attracts tourists. It's not easy, there are parties every night, and since the crisis is everywhere, it's 30 or 35 euros a ticket. It's a budget, it's important for me. Tonight is my first date, it's important that I be good. For three hours of mixes, such a renowned DJ is paid between 20,000 and 50,000 euros. So to cover their expenses, club owners absolutely have to fill the hall. I reached my objective. This is the real paradise club. You have like 3,500 people in here. Big party, everybody is dancing, boxing mess playing. At 6 o'clock in the morning over this mountain, the sun will rise up. Everybody is still dancing. This is why I'm doing this job and why I love it. At 5 a.m., Bob Sinclair is doing his show. Paradise Club's 3,500 guests will be partying until sunrise. Mikanos has not finished making thousands of tourists dance every summer. 